welcome to triple saw second day so today uh, me and gaurav will be discuss how we can simplify drupal testing using cypress and cucumber so <coughs> i know you all are working in drupal so but you can also use drupal to build a complex website but testing is always a like i would say headache i can just <coughs> blast blast my head off if i am going talking about the testing so today we are trying to explore a new ways how we can perform the testing in drupal so our focus is <coughs> mainly uh, on cucumber with cypress cypress is a like another tool and cucumber is also one more tool so we are trying to achieve a new testing framework using cypress and cucumber <coughs> so throughout this presentation i'll try to share as much as example and we will have a quick demo to understand how cypress and cucumber will work so before going into the detail <coughs> i just want to tell me about myself and the gaurav will introduce himself so i will working with salsa it's almost 6 year and i have around 14 years of experience in the web development and <coughs> i'm working as a technical lead in salsa and in my <coughs> professional experience i have done so many projects from the small website to a large scale web applications and right now i was looking into multiple aspect of how we can perform the testing in a various tools and technology so this is this one is the like i got curiosity how we can use these front end framework in drupal itself so i let gaurav to introduce himself thanks govin so hi everyone this is gaurav uh, i am working with salsa from last almost one and a half year and uh, i am i started my career uh, when i started with drupal 7 so like from drupal 7 to drupal 10 it's been already a long journey it's already uh, like 9 plus 9 plus years and during this time i have worked on like various projects uh, the middle size team large size team and different you know different kind of projects mostly uh, like uh, what i feel that uh, i have also worked in drupal migrations like from drupal to drupal or other platforms like uh, uh, sharepoint and other platforms like that so yeah that's all about me so continue please go ahead uh, thanks sir so uh today we have a small agenda to discuss we'll look into how what exactly the software development life cycle and that how you can perform different methodologies for the testing then we'll look into the introduction to cypress and cucumber we'll talk about the triple module and we'll talk about the standalone setup of how cypress and cucumber can be <coughs> uh used as a standalone application or as a standalone framework for the testing so if you guys are not interested in testing i think <laughs> you can leave <laughs> you can definitely leave for the maybe there are other presentation you can you want to attend but yeah so <coughs> let's get into the detail so first i'll try to talk about the software development life cycle in agile way I'm also a certified scrum master so I know how agile work in a normal every so we are using agile but not a fully agile normally the hybrid cycle we are doing so in agile as you can see there is a normal iterative approach you can follow you can plan design develop and then test then deploy review and the another thing is launch so if you <coughs> look into the testing step so the test is the one thing that we have to perform it could be manual it could be automated you can use multiple type of uh, tools like uh, bhart is a very famous framework that you can use and the unit testing in php uh, drupal itself provide there is a unit testing framework is available so you can perform for that so in <coughs> agile there are multiple methodologies to perform or to create a software first i would like to discuss about the test driven development i know you all are aware about the test driven development yes no i don't know <laughs> but yeah <laughs> maybe uh, i'll i'm not going into the much detail it's just a context what exactly the uh, tdd will look like this is the flow if you can see the first thing you will write a test watch it fail write your code minimum code minimum necessary code if it will pass and then what we'll do you will review refactor your code while ensuring all the tests will work so 
it just <coughs> the benefits of TDD is you will get the improved code quality. But the limitation is it always uh, look into the smaller amount of uh, chunks of like if you are have a function method, it will apply on those particular unit of code only. It's not about the behavior of uh, a whole application. You can <coughs> write as much tests you required for any application. Like if you are working on a Drupal module itself, you can write whole lots of unit tests that will perform for every function. So I'm not going into much detail, but the another methodologies that we are going to discuss today would be the BDD, the behavior develop development. So this is the another logical step after the test <coughs> TDD, because in TDD, we are not looking after any business perspective or end user uh, perspective. We are always concentrate on a chunk of code if it's okay or not, it is passing the test or not. But if you are looking into the user experience, how the application behave at the end user, it will the different thing. So in B BDD is also a agile methodologies that extend TDD by focusing the behavior of the system from front end user perspective. So the key component on this, if you see the uh, flow, so you, you can start describe the behavior, it's your requirement or your user story. You write the user story, then you will go write the step definition. Definition is all about like given then why you all heard about the user story, how you write. The same thing you can <coughs> use as a your testing step or a testing criteria in that. Then write the test, it will fail, run and write your code and then it will pass, you can deploy your <laughs> uh, project. So those are the two methodologies we normally using in our basic practices. Now I've, I'll talk about Cypress at Cucumber. I did mention these methodologies because those are the things we are based on. The Cypress and Cucumber is based on the BDD only and TDD plus the BDD. In the behavior user, ex we always look after how the user experience matter. If you are talking about a business requirement, if you understand the business requirement and you, you can write a test, which is normally any person can read that provide a good uh, acceptance criteria over. So let's talk about the Cypress and Cucumber here. So what exactly the Cypress? You will see test automate accelerate. So it's as simple as that. <laughs> you can write test uh, automate it and it will work in any pipeline or something. So what exactly the Cypress is? Cypress is a Java based, JavaScript based end to end framework that allow you to write and run test in a uh, browser environment only. Uh, it provides you the cross browser platform testing. You can run on any browser. It, do it doesn't matter which browser you want to use. You can use any browser, Chrome, Firefox. It allows you to, uh, like uh, if you want to test your application in real time, you want to time travel to, through the what exactly has been done so far while you are testing the application. It provide you the snapshot of all the test cases. You can, <coughs> you can easily uh, travel, like if you, you can actually save the video of your test, like if it's just a browser, if you are following your step manually, you, you will go to the home page, click on something and it will open another page. So everything will be done by the Cypress. It will automatically open the browser and follow all the steps, whatever you mentioned in your business requirement. It can also possible to uh, include in a CI or any pipeline. You can integrate it anywhere and it will rock, run whenever you push a new code. So why we should use the Cypress? Uh, I would say there are a few benefits uh, you can see on the screen. Uh, first thing I mentioned about the time travel, <coughs> debuggability automatic waiting, real time reload, screenshot and videos and the consistent result. So what do you understand by the time travel that I mentioned? You can easily uh, allow user to see all the <coughs> tests, whatever uh, Cypress have performed. You can easily watch your videos. It will also allow you to, uh, because it's a JavaScript framework. So uh, sometimes it happens that application have some Ajax calls or something. So you don't need to write a wait or something. It will automatically wait 
browser to load all the uh, required JS or CSS or all the DOM elements and then it will perform uh, further steps. You can also <coughs> allow this application to real time reload because uh, in real time you can just create your application and whatever you update in the application it will automatically run test on the updated code. So these are the few benefits uh, that we should be using the Cypress. Then <coughs> we'll talk about the Cucumber. So <coughs> In Cypress is a framework, testing framework, and Cucumber is a tool that supports BDD uh, practices. It allows you to create a test scenario in a uh, Gherkin language, like given then and why, yeah, similar to Bihar, if you are familiar with the Bihar. So uh, the same thing you can do in the Cucumber. So if you want to <coughs> create a uh, new things like uh, in a Cypress with Cucumber, there is a plugin available that you can combine those. So Cypress will provide a <coughs> background application and the, on top of that Cucumber will create you the behavior driven uh, development. So it will allow you to create test in a human readable language and then the Cypress plugin it will automatically convert them into the <coughs> uh, Cypress readable format and the, all the test cases will run. So I uh, will pass it to Gaurav to continue. Uh, thanks Govin. So we already have a Drupal module uh, for testing this like this is uh, available for end to end back end and front end testing and uh, the module is called Cypress uh, in general like uh, the other the other modules how we install it like using composer and just download it and enable it and after that we can write our own module on top of it like in custom folder where uh, we can like mention different folders there is a folder structure in Cypress how we write the test I'll sh show that uh, in like you know in other slides but uh, this is that will be the way of writing the test after that uh, we have to add the dependency as well of the cypress module that we need to uh, make sure that the cypress module is enabled and then uh, like there is a module module page uh, which i'll basically provide later uh, in the references and resources links where uh, we can be uh, there is a readme file which can be followed and uh, it has all the uh, commands which you is used to run the cypress on browser on terminal and uh, yeah but today we are talking about the standalone fe setup which can run like if we want to test only the front end uh, and like site not the back end of it and uh, we want to set it up so how to do that for any site okay so if we do that there are majorly four steps first three steps are mentioned here first of all we have to basically uh, create the package.json file uh, by doing npm init it will uh, generate the package.json file for us after that we have to install cypress so there is a command uh, npm install cypress save dev and then uh, it will install the dev dependency in the package.json file and the third one which is the most important is cypress cucumber preprocessor so like Govind already explained that this is the uh, preprocessor which will actually uh, convert the jerkin language written uh, statements in the executable cypress code which can be installed by npm install save uh, cypress uh, cucumber preprocessor and the fourth step is about uh, creating the cypress.config.js file where we actually write the base url like uh, what is the base url of the site we want to uh, like you know run test on and then the folder structure like i uh, it's mentioned there as uh, spec pattern where uh, you'll find the feature files where we actually write the code and after that the viewport width height so based, uh, in this uh, testing framework, we actually can see the uh, test running on the browsers, right? So the browser will open, so we can actually decide the height and width of the browser, like how it should look like in my system and other uh, few uh, like attributes are passed here. Yeah, so this is how the folder structure looks like. Uh, first of all, we have the test folder and then Cypress. Inside that we have a few folders like fixtures, integrations, plugins and support. Each of them have different roles in the uh, like you know uh, Cypress. So fixtures where we can use the static data. So let's say if there is a site which is like dynamic and the data is changing uh, like every time when we run the test. So our test will always fail. Like let's say if we say that first test is this is Gaurav, but next time when I load the site, it's it's changed to this is Gaurav one. So the test will fail, right? So we have to uh, write stub basically a uh, network response and write the static uh, data so that every time my test will pass so this is where we exactly do that then the integration where we run the actual tests 
then uh, this scre screenshots folder gets automatically created. Like when we run the test, uh, all the screenshots of the uh, different pages get stored in this uh, folder. Uh, plugin is to basically in, uh, like modify and extend the internal behavior of the Cypress and support basically if you want to add the custom commands that can be used across the site. So this is how the folder structure look like. If we move to the next slide, yes. Uh, there are few commands which come out of the box with Cypress. I have categorized them in three different uh, ways. First is parent command, child command and the dual commands. So parent command is about like uh, cy dot visit if I want to visit any page then uh, cy dot get if we, I want to get any data of any element in the DOM so similarly like this in child command cy dot click if I want to click on any event trigger find and the dual commands which has cy contains wait if let's say uh, after a request uh, if we visit any page we want to wait for five seconds or uh, two seconds so we can mention cy dot wait so it will wait for till that time and after that it will run the second command so this is how it works few examples for this uh, the first one is so in general we write it like this create a board given I am on empty home page and similar like very much similar to other tests uh, in jerkin language and in the back end what is happening that I'm on the empty home page so it is actually going to the home page cy.visit so this exact uh, command will be called similarly others few other examples if we talk about the data driven uh, example we can pass the arguments like board name and later we can define the examples like board name is shopping list and rocket launch so the same set of commands uh, starting from 3 to 7 will run twice because we have uh, defined two different um, like values for these variables and it will check both the tests and it will run uh, differently like the if it can happen that for the first one it can pass and for the second one it can fail working of array if you want to pass the data in array like milk bread butter jam so this is how the, in the back end it is done it can it is very much customizable we can write any uh, you know logic and we can uh, do any uh, statement and it will work accordingly hooks can be used there are four major hooks here before before each after after each so uh, for example if we want to run a uh, like post statement before any uh, statement so this is how we define before and then it will always go to uh, api reset it will send a post uh, like request there always before running any command and then uh, if instead of before before each then it will run before each statement similarly after and after each test tagging just like uh, other test environments we can tag our test so there can be any number of tests and if our test uh, certain test is failing so we can tag it and we can run it like uh, hyph, uh, tag equal to and whatever tag we define there like here it is defined smoke so yeah so most important thing is how we actually launch the environment so there are three uh, basically uh, dif different commands first one is npx cypress open so npx cypress open is used to run open the browser which actually opens the cypress tool and runs the command so npx cypress open and npx cypress run run will run in the terminal one more thing i want to mention is that we can also define the configuration variables where base urls can be defined with the username and password so from the local code base any environment which is production known production environment can be tested directly from the local environment code base so sometimes it happens that uh, like the test was passing in my local environment but it is not passing on the production environment so this is how we can test it that why it is not working on the production or non production so let's go to the demo Here uh, I have set up a local environment which has this home page and then there is a view which is created with articles page. It has three articles. Now uh, there are two environments, one is Cypress one just to showcase how to generate the files. It, 
a test folder and cypress folder is there now let's run the commands so there are three commands which i mentioned npm init npm install cypress and cucumber preprocessor so after running this and fourth step i have already generated which is cypress.config.js file just to save the time while generating this it will ask for package name and other sort of uh, information i am just choosing the default one downloading the node modules Yeah, just to save time, I'm just yeah. So package dot JSON has dev dependencies created Cypress and dependency as Cypress Cucumber preprocessor. Cypress config file is already there. Let's go to the so this is the first feature file which I have written has three tests. First one is about test login URL with user user authentication. Second is I am passing the argument as I showed on the uh, in the example uh, the URL is the home page and the articles page and third one just to show that uh, if it test fails how it looks like. So the fail test user login is direct to dashboard. it will open up a brow uh, cypress tool yes it asks for browser which one to open so i have chosen chrome the base URL which we set there is coming up and the feature file which uh, we created is coming here. Let's bypass. Yeah. So we can see after clicking on first feature all the tests are running here on the left hand side and on the right hand side it is actually showing the browser how it looks like that it is entering the things you know the fourth one is meant to fail so it failed here. So it says cross right. So we can see that three tests are pass, uh, passing here and the fourth one is failing. In the second one it ran uh, two different tests even though we wrote a single test but the uh, arguments were passed to, uh, twice so it, it showed two times. And the last one is if you want to run it on the terminal how it looks. So npx run, npx cypress run. So it will directly run it here instead of going to the browser we can see the similar result the first three are passing and the fourth one will fail so so that's all these are the reference and resources like we have followed yeah But uh, I, I would say like we are working on some automation of uh, like how you upgrade your Drupal sites automatically. So we are planning to achieve this because we can have these set of uh, rules using uh, these user stories. Like we can create a uh, these kind of tests, and if these tests automatically pass, we will 
trying to deploy everything on production. So that's why we are trying to get customer on board on <laughs> these type of things so they can understand, okay, these are the tests that have been passed. And they, we can also showcase them, okay, this is the whole report. You can see uh, what exactly happened in t while test has been run. So it provides that capability. We can share the video, we can share the screenshots, and they can easily read it. Um, I was interested when you were defining the yes. from the hat, given when it's yes. read the um, when you step to it, it doesn't look like when you defined it, it looked like it does treat them treat given in a separate uh, See, I have also seen some somewhere that uh, it Some doesn't sometimes respect it. So uh, if we say uh, then and if we write when, then also it works sometimes. But in general, like when we write the step uh, in the backend code, we actually mention that uh, this will this uh, command should run only on when. So we mention when and then bracket and then write everything inside. Mm -hmm. So this is how we generally do it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh it's sim similar to Bihar in some way. Try to typecast it, you know, bind, yeah. bind it more. Yeah. Yeah. Similar to Bihar, yeah. Yeah, so like Yes. Um, there is a lot of uh, yes. questions as Yeah, so uh, yeah. the first thing, there's a module available in, uh, for the that, Cypress module, integration. Sorry, that, yeah. Yes, Cypress, the small. That, that module have? The full definition that you are expecting, the, all the tests. So I, I'm aware that you did all the uh, trades for the different kind of yeah, steps yeah. in Bihar. So similarly, it's, it's still growing, it's still evolving. So yeah. maybe we can uh, do similar stuff yeah. on that. Yeah. But it actually, the uh, other thing is, depends on a browser. It's a mostly browser specific. Cypress, uh, it's the front end uh, technology framework. It's not a back end. They provide us uh, API integration as well. So you can perform all the things that you are doing in Bihar in any way. So, so if you are trying, yeah, you can you can do that. There's a c yeah. commands available if you cr uh, use so this module. Like what I'm looking for is yeah, drush. Yes. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Drush, you can use that. Yeah, yeah, you can because it's a module available. You can integrate it. There's a command so to Cypress perform. Module, sorry, yeah. Module provided. Um, yes, yeah. this command is available yeah. on that. You can extend that for you. Yeah, but we also provide a standalone framework because yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs>